today, JT from Spread Creations again. For those that see my video that I did yesterday, I missed out on a couple points. So I just want to back, backtrack real quick before I actually do a painting. And that's to discuss the kind of paint I use. First and foremost, you could use a lot of different kind of paint. You could use the cheap stuff to the most expensive stuff. There's the color place or fast dry from Walmart is a dollar a piece. It's the cheapest paint you could ever get, but believe it or not, I couldn't finish a painting without it. Or you could get the most expensive stuff on the planet, which I can't afford. It's called Maloto, and that stuff is awesome. It's geared for spray artists. It's made just so we can do our work even better. It's like $8 a can, and that's not even including shipping. I don't even think you could buy it from a regular store. So the paint I'm discussing today is... I use Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch for the most part. It's just like Rust-Oleum, but it's geared towards spray art just like we're supposed to be. Rust-Oleum's good, but it's, it tends to be on the thinner side. It's not really geared for anything special. This stuff is comes with vibrant colors. It's awesome. It covers great. It's always the times two coverage, so it covers time twice as good as the regular stuff. But I still use regular Rust-Oleum white and as well as Rust-Oleum black. But the couple colors I do have in regular Rust-Oleum, I'm converting slowly but surely converting them to painter's touch because that's the closest I can get to. Montana or Maloto or one of the expensive brands without having to spend the money. Now this is Fast Dry from Walmart. It's black. It's good for shit. It's perfect for shading and stuff like that. This right here is any like mist, uh, waterfall mist, uh, um, meteorites, uh, comets. These are good for that. These. The cheap home shades, which I'm pretty sure is the colors that the color place used to be, but they turned to home shades. They're good for transparency. Basically, when they dry, they're pretty much semi-transparent. You can see through it. So these are good for a lot of, if you're using transparent, if you need a transparent color for a painting and you can't get it, home shades is the best. It comes with almost any color. I got, I've seen red, seen red. Blue, green, yellow, and it's just really good. And it's like a dollar fifty a can, and I couldn't finish a painting without this stuff. I got that, and then you got the white, um, blue shade. Same thing. It's good for shades and letting people. It's good for shading and using a transparent blue. So when I want, I want something tainted blue, but I still want them to be able to see it. I use this stuff right here. But do not spray. Once you spray this down with Painter's Touch or rust -Oleum, do not spray this down first and put spray something over it. There's so much acetone and paint thinner in this thing that the second you spray your Painter's Touch or rust over it, it eats it away and turns it into goop. I've done it before and it turns out like shit. Do not, I repeat, do not spray anything on top of this once it is down, unless it's clear coat or something. If you spray this down, you are at the end of your painting, or then you will have to wait until it dries, and then you could place stuff on top of it. Until then, do not spray wet on wet with this, because it will destroy your painting. Today, these are the um, tools I'm gonna be using. I got my poster board. I got some of my paints, I got a lot more paints than this, but I got, um, I'm got. i going to be focusing on um, blue today, a lot of blues, so I got my Oasis blue, I got, this is Oasis blue as well, I got a brilliant blue, um, deep blue, navy blue, the one I love though, people say use black for shadings. I don't use black for shadings and planets. I use metallic blue. This stuff has a glitter look to it, like a sparkly look, and it, it is so perfect for shading planets. It's 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 no comparison to black. You could you put black over it a little bit, and it will still be great. 
but use some type of metallic in your shadings with the planets. It, I, it, it'll just come out a lot better. Trust me on that. And as far as um learning how to do it, I started this art six months ago. And I've had masters say that they've never seen someone learn as fast as me. And my main secret is the fact that I learned from everybody. I learned from Brandon McConnell, Mark Fussell, Gerardo Lamore, Alyssa Lamore, Seth from SEI Films. Every one of those artists had something contri to contribute with me learning this art. I learned it in incredibly fast time because I did not stop until I learned it. If I messed up on something, I drove my wife freaking crazy, but I redid it over and over, and I researched it, and I did everything I possibly could to fix it and to be able to do it right. If you are just doing this to copycat somebody and do paint and mimic paintings you see, move on, because this is not an easy money maker. It is not, regardless of how easy it may look, it's actually very hard to do. So if you think you're just going to make a fast buck by making a few city scenes or whatever, you might as well move on because you're going to fail miserably and you're going to give the real artist a very bad name. And so that's about it for today. Uh, the next video, I promise, will be a painting. And will be a painting. Um, so I'll see you next time. Thank you.